I'm going to be talking about a new program that just came into existence in the last couple of months called NC Be Prepared, which is uh, a theory and a vision for proactive surveillance that has uh, elements in it, three key elements, which are early queuing, which means, ah, I'm starting to see something evolve. Pattern recognition, meaning I've seen this before, it looks like this. And then situational awareness, which is kind of a government term, a spook term, for like, what is the situation? I mean, I need to be briefed, I need to act, I need to know what to do next. Tomorrow, which is part of the NCB prepared vision, is the predictive and preventative. What could happen? Um, what uh, is about to happen? And what can I do to prevent what's about to happen? So we end up with an interesting intersection here using analytics, which is the core of NCB prepared. It's one of the first applications where analytics, advanced analytics is applied to the centric uh, views of biosurveillance. And you can see on this simple chart that once you pass that, that vertical, that horizontal threshold line, you're into very high end, very complex algorithms that allow you to do some predictive indicator analysis and some surveillance on the preventative side. And the idea behind NCB prepared on this simple little diagram, you'll see predictive and preventive, you'll see the, the XY axis is to move that vertical line further to the left. And in so doing, you're getting an earlier recognition, you're identifying the problem earlier, whether it's an outbreak or a disease, whether it's sarin gas, whether it's terrorism, whether it's West Nile disease, whether it's H1N1, H1, H1, et cetera. The whole idea is to get to this point where I can see something developing that I can act on. And this is what is happening to us today. We've been driven by breakthrough technologies. For example, what is the relationship between the World Wide Web and the Internet and 9-11? Well, as it turns out, there's a huge amount in common here because a lot of the biosurveillance now, as of 9-11, is being powered by brand new Internet World Wide Web applications, not only at the federal level, but at the state and local level. NCB Prepared is the state equivalent of a biosurveillance initiative launched by the Department of Homeland Security. They've been trying to crack this puzzle of how do I get granular enough to identify a problem on the ground and then elevate it to Washington so that some preemptive act could occur. Here's a couple of quick examples. Um, this is, as, as you know, you've probably heard of the IEDs, the impro improvised explosive devices that are used in Iraq and Afghanistan to blow up convoys. This is an application here that was developed with statistical backgrounds and bylines that basically took the ability for them to destroy at 100% down to less than 50%, simply by looking at routes and routing historically. So you can see the, the red band there is effective attacks. That's where convoys were destroyed. And then you get into the, the other band there, the next one up, which were ineffective attacks. And then the, the green band is where the IEDs were actually found and destroyed. So this is done through statistical GIS mapping of convoy routes in a combat area.